welcome back to a new day in my life. Um, my dad brought over this really nice envelope that says United States Navy. He retired from the Navy after serving 20 years, and I'm so, so proud of him. Um, this is what the folder looks like, and I'm going to get ready to put the paper inside of one of these frames that I have right here. Um, and I'll show you all what it looks like once I get it all snug in one of these great frames. And I'm really proud of him because it takes so much courage to really, you know, do um, the military. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the frame. Here's what the certificate looks like inside of a frame. It says Certificate of Appreciation from the United States Navy. And it has a postal seal, Navy seal right there, which is so nice. And then to all who shall see these presents, greetings. And this is to certify that. And then it has my name up under there, which I don't really want to show. But I will show you a little bit of the paragraph. And I want to just thank anybody that's in military in general. Like, your work ethic doesn't go unnoticed. I'm glad my father made it out. <laughs> and, you know, he did what he needed to do. So as you can see, it says today, after completing 20 years of active naval service, your father has ended a career of honorable and faithful service to his country and his efforts are sincerely appreciated. And they give this to the daughters, the mothers, the wives, the grandparents. So for him to bring me this certificate of appreciation for something that he did, you know, to, um, for the country and as a father to provide for me and my sisters and things like that. It's just amazing. So I'm going to get ready to put it over on one of my end tables. And I'm just so proud of him. His birthday is tomorrow, July 25th. So I'm actually getting ready to go out and get him a birthday gift. And then he's supposed to have some type of like gathering here while he's in the city. Uh, I think he leaves the 30th to go back to San Diego, California. So I'm going to join him while he's here. Here's where I decided to put the picture right over here on this end table and it looks so, 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 so good. <laughs> hey family, I just got done getting dressed. I'm getting ready to go over to my dad's birthday um, event. Um, he said it's not far from where I live, so that's really good, but I gotta go run and get his gift and balloons. Yes, the day of. I should have did this yesterday, you guys, but uh, I didn't want to have the boys in and out of the stores. I'm very particular about where we're going during COVID-19. And I'm really hoping when we do get to this, when I do get to this event, that it's not super crowded and things like that. Right now, the boys are with their dad. So it's giving me time to go and get his gift and all that good stuff. Um, to go get my dad's gift since the boys are with their dad or whatever. <laughs> um, when my dad told me about his event, I was like... Y'all have an event right now? Because he texts me out the blue. And he was like, yeah, what's wrong? And I was like, well, the boy's dad just came and got them. Because um, I had wanted the boys to come. So I may be able to swing by there later. Or get him to bring the boys. I don't know how it's going to go. But for right now, it's just me and baby girl. Right here, there she is. <laughs> uh, well, you can't really see. Hold on. So I just put on this little jumpsuit right here. It's got like a little uh, tie in the front, as you can see. And then it's the spaghetti strap. And then I did my little orange earrings. And yeah, this is what I'm looking like. It's like a little pants, pants um, suit. And so, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go grab my dad's gift. And I'll see y'all once I make it over there because he texted me about two hours ago. He said they were gonna be there for a while. So I'm kind of running late, I feel like. <laughs> but I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm um, gonna introduce you guys to my dad as well. And um, it should be a really good time. Jesus, I'm trying to get it together. Oh, 
family it's the next day um this weekend has been my dad's birthday weekend so well this past weekend was his birthday weekend so i've been spending so much time with him and some other family that i haven't seen in years um also i went to my sister's new apartment i helped her move into her new apartment and it was so much fun um so i'm going to get ready to insert a clip of my sister moving into her new place i'm so proud of my sister congratulations to you and i'm so so happy for her she says she's going to try to make a youtube channel so if she does she'll probably give you guys a full apartment tour but i'm just going to go ahead and insert the clip now of us going over to her new apartment again i'm so proud of my sister and she deserves it you guys she's like the best auntie to my boys <laughs> and uh she she deserves it she's a single woman no kids she does pharmacy and she's just, just and she's just living her young life like she's 29 and she's just living her young life so check out the next clip of us going over to my sister's new apartment Yeah, that was my sister moving into her new apartment and again it was so so nice i'm actually getting ready to take the boys to karate um today is tuesday and they're getting ready to go do their thing and have a great time um i've already set everything out that they'll need for karate their belts that they normally wear around their waist and then their karate t-shirts trays is the red shirt here as you can tell because it's smaller <laughs> And they normally wear their basic white pants. And then Julian has the blue shirt here. And it's so hot outside. So I'm glad that I did get these t-shirts. Um, I'm probably look at, looking to getting them some new um, shirts or whatever. Because they got so many different styles and prints. And then, of course, you know, they wear their white, just their basic white pants. And when the winter time comes, they'll normally wear their jackets right there that's hanging up. So, yeah, um, aside from that. We're just gonna go to karate um, when I get back home I'm gonna try to put together some little work boxes nothing too major just something to keep them preoccupied the rest of this week and next week and then the following week school starts back I cannot believe school starts back so we're gonna be getting ready for a brand new school year for 2022 to 2023 and I just pray it's a great year for not just me but for all the parents out there who are trying to work go to school you know take her house um, and just live during this pandemic, you know? So yeah, I'll see you guys once we make it to karate. You might not want to reach with your back leg at time, right? Yes, sir. I might use your front leg. The front leg is faster. Now use your front leg to stop. Ready for it? Yes, sir. One time, my front leg kicks, and I put it behind me. We're going backwards. Let's try it out. Hands up. It's going to be tougher. Remember, I give you permission to mess up. Use the back leg. Just try my best. Hands up, kick the front leg, go back. What's going on? Ready? One. And then put it behind you. Give me the other leg. Two. Okay. Keep it behind you. 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 Keep it behind Push 
the different t-shirts. I like that shirt right there, right behind you, Julian. With the white, black, yeah, that one. The black shirt with the white, black, and red work. You like that one? Yeah. Then I got the red ones. They got the jersey over there, I see. This, the, jersey, the jersey shirt is really nice. That's the bandana. That's the what, baby? That's the bandana. Yeah, I think those are wristbands. Make sure you put them back in there. There you go. Now leave it alone, baby. Okay. Let's make sure it's all the way in there for the next person that wants to take a look at it. See the price. All right, let's um get ready for a trades class. We just got done with Julian's class, so now trade is about to go up next. It's starting to get crowded in here too. I'm trying to social distance, but you know how that goes. <laughs> But this is pretty much where my boys do their karate, you guys. It's going to get a little crowded in here. Did you find your card, Marcus? Did you find your card? Okay. Come on over here. Okay. It's someone else's turn, okay? I was showing half of my name. Just Marcus. Yeah. You can't show your full name. Here's what I cooked for dinner tonight. We got in so late, it was about nine o'clock, but I still wanted to share dinner. Hey family, so I'm gonna get ready to share with you all some work bins that I'm gonna to put together for the boys. Again, it's gonna be something really simple, nothing too fancy, um, but this is kind of the aftermath of what it's like to homeschool during a pandemic. And I will be sitting down talking to you all about how I really got through that because that was something to really go through. And I can't stress enough how important I really want this year to be 
with the kiddos returning back to school. So as you can see, we got a box here that says K-12. That was a no-go for us. Um, and then the boys ended up doing virtual school at regular schools. And then it ended up leading to us just sticking with independent homeschooling. And I chose Ace Your Education, uh, which, based, which is based around Christianity. And I really liked that program. It was really simple to organize and put together. And that's what we ended up doing like the last month of school, Ace Pace. We just did full-blown homeschooling because I was completely over sending them to different schools and I was completely over virtual school. So the two, um, the two work boxes that you see here was like our primary homeschool work boxes. And again, now that school has ended, um, well, school ended actually for us, I believe it was June 15th. Um, and so I just took a break. I didn't want us doing anything school related. I just wanted my boys to relax their mind. We just did karate and just did things together as a family over this summer. Uh, we had plans to take a vacation, but because of COVID-19 and the numbers increasing, uh, we won't be doing that vacation. Um, but I am going to put something together where they can at least try to do some type of water activity before they go back to school. I'll just have to pray on it. Again, COVID-19 and, you know, getting out and doing fun things um, is kind of hard, you know. But anyway, these two bands right here I got from Michael's. They're really, really awesome. Excuse my ashy hands, y'all. I've been washing them. But those two are from Michael's. These two that you see here are from Dollar Tree. This white one and this blue one. So I'm going to pull all the stuff that I need out and put the stuff that I need in these two work bins right here because I'm going to only use these two. I don't want to use those two because they've been seeing those uh, the past month. <laughs> so I want to give them something new and exciting to, um, to look forward to. So I just got done emptying out everything that I was showing you all. Um, so really quickly, really, really quickly, um, I was talking a little low because the boys are in the bed, but um, I wanted to share the little bins. Again, these are $1 at Dollar Tree, nothing too fancy about them, but they do store quite a bit of, you know, books and supplies or whatever you want to put in there. And these would make great for any type of bin, whether you want to do one for homework, literacy, math, social studies, English, music, if you want to do it for manipulatives, whatever you want this basket to be for, it can definitely do its job. One dollar, a dollar tree. And they're pretty sturdy because I had a lot of stuff in here at first because I just threw stuff. <laughs> I just threw everything together until I can kind of go through it, um, which I'll be going through hopefully tomorrow because I'm just tired of this stuff being crowded in my room. But anyway, the, the white one is going to be for Trey and the blue one is going to be for Julian. And um, I want to go ahead and thank the person that sent these workbooks. These are the Summer Brain Quest workbooks. This one is fourth and fifth grade, which is going to be for Julian. And then this one is the Summer Brain Quest workbook K through first grade, which is going to be through be for Trey. Um, Julian is going to the fifth grade, August the 9th. And Trey is going to the first grade, August the 9th. And Again, I'm just praying it is a great, <laughs> a great, great school year. So this is what's going to be the first thing that's going to go inside of their work bins for the summer. Again, just a week and a half is all we have. And then it's back to real learning. I'm like, oh my God. So um, this one is going in trays. So that's going to go in there just like that. And this one is going to go in Julian's just like that. So you just, you know, set whatever you want inside the bin and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so um, this is all that's going to go in their work bin. Initially, I was going to put some other things in there, but I don't know. I don't want to crowd anything out. Um, now that I think about it, there is some things that I do want to put in there. So I do want to go ahead and put Julian some little manipulatives for fractions. I had got these little pie pieces from Dollar Tree and they're really good for fractions. So I'll put that in there for him. And then of course I wanna go ahead and put his pencil pouch in there, which he don't have much much in his pencil pouch. He's in the fourth, going to the fifth grade. So it's like, 
he think he's so cool and he don't have to have too much so all he has in his pencil pouch is a number two pencil and glue but i'm gonna go and um i'm gonna go and get him some color pencils and maybe some cool markers that he like or some cool pens so that's gonna be in his little summer band and they can just get in here and do a couple of pages a day um the workbook has reading math social studies science so i don't feel like i have to put too much together so that's julian's um as for trey since i'm sitting here i'm gonna go ahead and give trey two of these composition books um i got these from dollar tree they are the mini composition books and trey just likes to keep them as sticker books um as you can see this one says trey he put a sticker on the front and then on the inside he literally just likes to collect pictures <laughs> And stickers of stuff so I'm gonna put that in there because I think he'll really like that inside of his bin and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a pack of word strips this is gonna be for his sight words because we do need to practice on sight words so I'm gonna set that in there and then I'm gonna put him some award uh, blah, 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 award stickers because when Trey does a good job I like to congratulate him i do the same for julian but julian's older so he's like mom <laughs> so i like to use stickers so i'm gonna put that in there and then last but not least i'm gonna do his little pencil pouch which he has pencils markers glue um all kind of stuff you can think in here he has it in there <laughs> so that's gonna go inside of there and um, I kind of want to put his manipulatives in there too. These are just different little learning blocks. He got some foam ones, some Lego looking blocks, and some wooden blocks. I think that'd be really good if we do something math related. And that's going to be it. If he needs something else, um, he does have like a little thing he can write his letters on if he needs that. He also has like some letter towels if we need to pull those out for spelling. But I'm not going to put all of that in the bin. Like I said, I wanted just the bare minimum. And I'm going to go to the library and put together some reading literacy packets and check out them some books based on whatever animal or whatever thing they want to learn about, whether it's volcanoes. Um, uh, Trey really has tapped into volcanoes and sharks. And then I have to see what Julian wants to get into because Julian was really uh, interested in like the human body, which I'm going to go ahead and put that in here now that I think about it. Um, this one is the book about the brain that Julian was reading on and he also had a book right here called um, First Encyclopedia about the human body. So I'm going to put that inside of his bin and that's going to be it. Like, like I said, I don't want, well, I'm going to just do the one about the brain. I'm going to just do the one about the brain for Julian because I noticed he had that one a lot. <laughs> he keeps that one with him a lot. But yeah, this is going to be it for the summer um, for now. Because like I said, school starts back like within a week or so. And this is pretty much what I just threw together as you can see. All right. So yeah, um, your girl is tired. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go ahead and get some rest. But I just wanted to give them something to do so that they're not waking up at each other's throats. Or, you know, just thinking it's just a free a free day they can get up do karate and still learn something all right so yeah um no worries i am sitting on a pillow because i know y'all probably like girl you on the floor get up <laughs> before you go and lay but get up <laughs> but no i'm on a pillow so yeah um y'all let me know what y'all think about the little mini summer work bands again i normally do an extraordinary job putting them together but with school being one week away i'm like girl bye i'm just gonna put something in here so they can get up and learn something okay and then the other two bands that i got from michael's um once i get those all washed and cleaned in the way i really wanted to look i will be doing a official video about those bands okay because my boys do homework and i don't play about that i make sure they are up on their grades okay but i love y'all thanks for tuning in to this vloggy vlog it was a long one i hope you guys like long vlogs if you do give it a big thumbs up don't forget to follow us on facebook that's where you would get all notifications before i post on my youtube channel and i love y'all bye guys